Welcome, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of April 2020 in regards to love and romance. All right, Cappies, you have the star card, two of pentacles, six of pentacles, page of swords, somebody's stalking. The Hermit, Ten of Swords, the Hierophant, your card, the Devil card, Magician, and Eight of Wands. Wow. All right. And look, right at the bottom of your deck, Queen of Pentacles. All right, Cappies. I see you guys extremely empowered. Right at the center, we have the Ten of Swords. For some of you guys, there was an ending, a conclusion. Um conclusion cycle for others of you it could have been an ending to a relationship um or you feel like you have to like it's come to the final conclusion of having to make a decision now you do have the star card some of you guys are dealing with aquarius energy for others of you you may be dealing with a taurus you may be dealing with an aries uh, i do see fire energy here leo sagittarius um leo sagittarius aries energy um or you may be dealing with a virgo anyways aside from <laughs> the signs what spirit is telling you here is uh capricorn with the star card i feel that the planet alignments are definitely assisting you and when it comes to love and romance for a lot of you guys finding the balance for others you may be dealing with two people the six of pentacles definitely talks about a give and take type of energy so for some of you guys it could have been a relationship where you were giving constantly giving in this relationship and on the other perspective um perspective sorry on, on the other side of the relationship it wasn't as you know balanced so i definitely see someone definitely taking more and the other not really putting or giving much um so it could have been it could have been that there was lack of balance someone was carrying this relationship or has been carrying this relationship more than the other person um now i do see the page of swords so i definitely see someone looking towards you capricorn it could have been a person that you're no longer in a relationship with uh perhaps at some point in time this person wasn't really giving you the attention the time or the effort in the relationship for some of you guys this could have been the reason why they kind of pushed you towards either wanting to become single or entertaining other possibilities. And I definitely see them like kind of regretting, really being in their feelings about the situation. And they're definitely looking at your social medias, wanting to keep up, wanting to know exactly what's going on with you. Now, with the Hierophant, what Spirit is telling you here is you don't have to rush, uh, Capricorn. You don't have to rush. If you feel that right now, it's like very important to make a decision uh, what Spirit is telling you is don't rush the situation. Allow things to unfold the way they're supposed to. Don't try to force to like don't try to force fixing a relationship or force yourself into making a decision between two people because that's going to organically happen for you. Keep in mind we have Jupiter and Capricorn. So what this means is anything that has to do with relationships, with partnerships, with uh, love and romance, Whatever it is that has been swept under the rug or that we haven't wanted to deal with is coming to surface. And the reason why it's coming to surface, as an example, if there was lack of attention, lack of love or passion in the relationship, um, for some of you guys, that could have been the reason why you nipped it in the butt. You say, you know what? This is not working for me. For some of you guys, you walked out of the relationship. Now, keep in mind, it is a general reading. So it could have been the other person walking away from the partnership. But again, like I said, I do see them looking at your social medias, looking at like basically stalking you, trying to see what's going on with you. Now, right now, there's a feeling of like the clock is ticking. And like I said, don't rush when it comes to partnerships, Capricorn, because you will ultim ultimately, you will ultimately know who's the best suitor for you, who's the best person for you when it comes to relationships. And like I said, Jupiter brings the blessing. Now, depending if it's your Jupiter return, um, which is definitely 
signifying marriage here. So again, keep that in mind. There's no need to rush if you're currently feeling like you have to make a decision, you have to choose between two people, or you have to make a decision about forgiving an ex and going back to them. Uh, that type of energy, what Spirit is telling you is, no, 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 do not rush it. Let things happen the way they're supposed to. The person that's meant for you is going to prove to you through action, not words, that they want you in their life, okay? I hope that makes sense. Now, we do have here the Ten of Swords, which is the conclusion, the ending cycle. If you've been dealing with a relationship that hasn't worked or hasn't, you know, progressed, they're either stepping up or they're deciding, I've lost this person, I'm walking away. Why? Because Saturn is here to tell them, if you're not serious about my baby, meaning you, Capricorn, then don't waste their time. So again, only those that are wanting long term, only those that are wanting monogamy are the ones that are going to really go hard in trying to convince you, Capricorn, that they're the one for you. So very, very strong message here. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long term committed relationship, perhaps you've been experiencing that there's been a lot of imbalance in the relationship. There's been uh, obstacles that you guys have tried to overcome. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a financial difficulty. I think that's something everyone is experiencing currently. Um, but what Spirit is telling you is be patient with this because this quickly is going to come to its conclusion. It's coming to an end. You also have the Hierophant here uh, getting wiser advice or getting even assistance or help from someone that is very wise that is very good with making money or that is very good with um, solidifying or helping you become more financially stable. Now you do have your the devil card, which is a, the, the representation of your energy here in the reading next to the magician Capricorn. So again, I think that from now all the way to like the middle of May, even actually not even the middle of May, I want to say June, from now all the way to June, you're going to be experiencing this change and shift Capricorn where everything starts to happen very quick and everything starts to fall into place where you're going to be like blown. You're, you're, you're going to be like, this is mind boggling. Like I can't understand how up here I was dealing with a lot of stress, dealing with a lot of obstacles. And all of a sudden it's like everything starts to like fall into place that it's like so surreal, especially for Capricorns because baby, you guys have to earn everything you get. <laughs> so what Spirit is telling you is that there's going to be uh, a bountiful energy of blessings coming towards you. For a lot of you guys, relationships, marriages are coming through. For others of you guys, partnerships that are long lasting, partnerships that are um, more on what goes back to your roots, which is that of long term, that of steadiness, that of, you know, building relationships, basically um, very cemented. And with the magician, for some of you guys, it could be an Aries that comes in. For others of you, it could just be a fire energy. But nonetheless, they're definitely bringing commitment with the eight of wands, very quick movement and progress. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with another earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But like I said, don't feel like you have to rush anything, Capricorn. Let things happen the way they're supposed to. Let's see what Spirit's final messages are for you guys. Like I said, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, and if you have been dealing with the financial difficulties and stuff, uh, be patient. I do see that things start to progress in a very positive way. You have your card, uh, Saturn energy with the magician, the manifestations, the blessings coming towards you, uh, spiritual guidance, the eight of wands, quick movement. Nothing clearer than that. You're on the right path, Capricorn. All right. So your cards here from spirit is healer. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share with others. Your second card here is you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. And finally, body work. Your life's purpose, uh, life's purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise and training. So these two cards, body work and healer, speak to me very directly about healing energy. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be a healer or that you work in massage therapy or energy healing or anything like that. But it could just represent that you're naturally gifted in this aspect, Capricorn. And it's very easy for you um, 
maybe even like when people talk to you or come to you to get advice or guidance, your words literally help them heal through the process of what they're going through. Um, for others of you, it could be that you start to be more interested in like energy healing, Reiki, that type of energy, anything on the um, esoteric or anything on the spiritual side. I feel you guys being pulled towards that. And if that's the case, again, like I said, it could be something that you perhaps are on a, like subconsciously, you're not even aware of it consciously, sorry, consciously, you're not even aware of it. Like I said, it could come in the sense of you being extremely, um, being extremely good with people communicating with you, allowing them to open up, to really speak to you, to really get genuine advice and what better advice than from a Capricorn. Uh, you guys, like I said, everything you guys have, you've earned. It doesn't come easy for Capricorns, you know, the ruling Saturn, Saturn planet, sorry, the ruling planet Saturn is, you know, you got to earn what you have. So again, I feel that a lot of your experiences, a lot of the difficulties you've gone through um, could be channeled in the sense of healing others and assisting them, even if it's just by listening to them. So again, very beautiful, strong message here. And like I said, you know, with you're on the right path, it just solidifies and connects everything to the messages that were given. Don't feel like you need to rush into anything Capricorn. You'll start to see things start to progress and fall into place for the best of your interest. Remember, you guys, with Saturn being in Jupiter, uh, a lot of the things that we needed to work on, a lot of the things that, um, you know, that we need to overcome life lessons. Uh, it's not about ignoring. It's not about continuing on that path. It's all about if you want changes, Capricorn, you have to make changes for yourself. Even if it means accepting like we need to work more on this. I need to be more patient. I need to um, not get so agitated so quickly. Whatever the situation is, you really need to put effort in that Capricorn because only then will you be able to shift that energy and raise your vibration. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.